Alright guys, what's going on? Scott GFX here and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create an animated watermark for your um, videos. So first you want to get into an Apple D and go up to MoGraph, text object and um, name this to what you want. I'm going to do Scott GFX, no GFX. Um, use whatever font you want. I'm going to use Moloch. I don't know, I'm just using this one. And just align that to the middle. It's here now, okay. So just put the it doesn't matter really matter what depth you put it to, it's just put depth to eighty. So you know what I want to do is create a couple of materials for whatever you want your name to be. I'm going to take the G effects out of that, just name it Scott. So and you want to just click on this text and hit C, which will make the text ed editable. And that you've got like individual letters here. So just create a colour. So I'll create a nice blue. Uh, and that's quite a nice blue. Nice got reflection. We uh, have no, texture for, for, for now, um, brightness 24 and mixed strength 24. Um, grab this and put it on to whatever character you want. I'll put this on my eyes. Just This is for quick, so just do it quickly. I don't even need to add, add reflections to that. Make it a nice red. Um, grab that red and put it on ARC. Um, do uh, a green. It's green. Then get and put it on here. Whatever. Um, and just put these colours back on here. So it looks quite good, doesn't it? Right. So next. What you want to do to animate it, I'm just, I'm just going to make this 4280 by 720. So I've got a bigger space. So here, right. Right now, what you want to do is you want to go to this light thing here, hold in, go to camera, go to cameras. Scene cameras, camera, which you click camera right, and then you click this middle button here, auto keyframe, then you click keyframing, right, and then, um, uh, sorry, I'm in the state here, so what you want to do is back out of that, put it right in. Make this 30 frames, 30 frames, so it's 30 frames, right. And then you know, the auto. Make sure cameras, see cameras, is set. Oh man, I've got it mucked up. Right, this cut this all keyframe, and then cut cut keyframe. Or drag it right to the end to thirty, right? And then click on your text, and then just drag it right all the way around. And then that should, and then if you watch it again, if you watch it through, and as you can see, it will, it will spin. And that's what I'll like in your video, so it'll spin. And I'll like a nice watermark. Right? So next for your render settings, what you want to do is you want to go from 0 frames to 30 frames. And you click all frames. Um, put your format to whatever you want. I, I preferably use QuickTime Movie. Uh, hit Alpha Channel and put it to what um, path you want to put it to. So I'll just put it right to desktop, name it Scott. Um, that's all good. 
Now we'll just render it out now. So just let us render it out. This will take about a minute or so. Well, depends on how fast your computer is, really. I mean, it's quite slow, really, to be honest. So I'll just pause this video right now and then I'll come back when it's done rendering. Alright guys, so we're back and it's um, rendered out, so what we're going to do is get into Sony Vegas. If you haven't got this, then set up some YouTube and to get it for free if you want. And it costs like a lot of money to buy it. So just import um, a video you want to use your watermark on, so just give me a minute to find that video. I don't even know if I've got any videos on this, but I've just deleted them all too. Um, oh, I can't even find a fucking video. I know what I'll do, I'll just use my sponsors. Uh, um, I'll just use my sponsors. Intro. Oh video. Right, so drag this into your timeline. Oh, this computer's so slow. So it's there, right? And then just put in your watermark that you made. So I'll just import this right now. In desktop. Um, here it's there. It's got So what I do is just, well that's in there, just insert a video track here, so and then grab your, your clip that you've made here, and then drag it right out so it goes to the full clip here, so like it just keeps spinning around, and then what you want to do, like so, so like the black screen will go away, is you want to go to video effects, and yeah, go to, like go to chroma here, and go to green, the green screen effect, and um Put it on your, your um, what do you call it? Yeah, what am I? As you can see, my green is right away because it's green here. So what I want to do is drag it right down to the black here, and it's right away. So exit that, and we'll click this event pan and crop, and we'll just drag it down to the corner, and uh, here. Now we'll preview that. nicely and it's worked out nice. It's a nice watermark for the videos. So um yeah thanks guys for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more tutorials and everything. Um yeah so that's pretty much it and thanks for watching.